So I want to get your views on what's mm -hmm. happening here with silver. Um, have you been writing about silver on your blog at goldzeiten.de? Uh, de. Oh yes, several times. Of course, uh, in initially I didn't even have my own blog when I uh, I think I first written about silver um, seriously and in earnest uh, back in 2006 when the SLV was founded. Um, I don't want to go into the specifics there, but uh, SLV the ETF. SLV the silver. it was the Barclays silver yeah. ETF. It was the first ETF yeah. uh, at the time. Um, it's still around, but it's uh, owned by another entity now. And it, it has become, as I had predicted, uh, the largest uh, holder of investment silver at the time. And uh, back in 2006, one should not forget, uh, there had not been any investment use for silver at all. Um, if you take uh, jewelry aside, um, on a net basis, uh, we almost 100% uh, uh, of the newly minted silver was used um, industrially. And it only, um, well, this SLV was at the same time promising and dangerous uh, when it uh, opened uh, doors in 2006 because uh, obviously it was now an easy method to, over the stock exchange, acquire silver. And the promise was it's physical silver. And uh, at the other hand, uh, well, it was um, a centralized um, pool of silver. And it's always, it's always a little bit easier to manipulate with uh, centralized pools, but I'm not saying uh, it was unserious. I think the, uh, it was way easier to manipulate the silver price down or, uh, or to have a what I call fractional silver um, system. But it's no longer 100% industrial usage as it was four years ago. That's when I initially wrote about it. Um, and I was always skeptic when it came to those unallocated silver pools. Uh, there, are, there are also other um, means uh, how the or techn well techniques I should say how the silver price is being um, suppressed and kept down. We all know that uh, the comex trading is more than suspicious. Uh, we also know that um, uh, the afternoon trading uh, between the a London AM and uh, PM fixings are um, well. The trading patterns have been pretty. Um, well, suspicious too. Adrian Douglas from um, Keda Associate has done so quite some research into that. Yeah, uh, he's done I, I, I've co-authored uh, um, uh, an article in a renowned very German um, publication on that one too. And uh, it was really interesting to see it. Um, whenever Geda and other um, well, important figures uh, that really had some um, public uh, that uh, that listened uh, came up with some credible information about how the gold or silver prices were suppressed. And uh, well, Bill Murphy was initially successful, I think, in uh, in 2001 already, um, and uh, then with this conference in 2005, and uh, of course with this testimony uh, 2010, uh, the CFTC testimony. Uh, so, uh, whenever they came up with new information that was credible, the market actually reacted. It t sometimes it took a little bit while, but uh, the idea that the gold and silver prices um, are manipulated or suppressed is no longer a conspiracy theory. And this is really some new development. It has taken a long time uh, until serious uh, circles believe in that. And whenever uh, a cabal or a manipulation uh, comes out in the open and a lot of people believe in that, um, it's more or less over. You cannot continue it. Uh, having said that, I accept that the cabal has changed their methods throughout the last 10 or 15 years several times, so uh, you can never be sure what, the, what next they have on their agenda. Um, but currently, especially since September of 2010, uh, if you just look at the price movements, especially for silver, um, this is a historic situation, but uh, the history was not, uh, this is just a logical development. Currently, the ups upswing, uh, the history, uh, basically, or the, uh, the historic distortion of the market uh, has lasted for more than 10, maybe even 15 years. And I think in our event tonight, we will uh, hear quite something about that in, de in detail. I'm looking forward to that very much. Um, it's been my pleasure to be here with uh, Peter Beringer, the co-founder of DEG. You can read his blogs on Germany's most popular website for gold uh, information, goldzeiten.de. Peter, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you, James.